Welcome, everyone. It's the 31st of March, 2023. This is Documentation Office Hours. Topics on the agenda, Jenkins Awards voting, roadmap updates, PGP signing key, MSI Windows or MSI signing certificate, and possibly two more items on end of life items. Any other topics you want to add? Chris, anything you want to add? Um, we probably won't have time because I, 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 I've been wanting to talk about JSOC a little bit. Well, let's put it on the list and let's put it top of the list because all the other topics I think are could easily wait a week. Okay. What about season of docs? Are we doing, are you doing that too or just? Oh, like... good. Let's, let's put that, I'll put that one ahead of it. That way we're clear on it. Yeah, because someone asked. Season of docs. Good. Okay. Any, any other topics you want to add? Mm, no. All right, then let's go through them. So Jenkins award voting period ended, uh, will be announced. Uh, results will be announced at CDCon May 8th, uh, Vancouver, Washington. Uh, not Vancouver, Washington, sorry, Vancouver, Canada. Yeah, British Columbia, right? Right, yeah. Vancouver, BC. Yep, that's correct. Google season of docs. Uh, Jenkins project won't participate, not participating this year. Uh, we're fo full focus on Google C on Summer of Code. Okay. Google Summer of Code. Okay, Chris, what topics? Um, go to Summer of Code. So uh, we may want to talk about like, um, let me think, because I, um, we have, I think, uh, let me check, because like we have almost all the uh, draft proposals received. And I'm not expecting any more because I think we have in total 37, but the valid ones are numbered at 28. So currently it's like um I can see like most most mentors have already reviewed one uh at about at least two or three. And um I think we can, we can do a bit more, a bit better, but I'm not sure if we have the time because I think this year we've been overwhelmed with a lot of proposals. Yeah, so mine, my reviews have been damaged by work, so I'll be reviewing this weekend. Okay. And if they if they don't take my feedback, that's perfectly fine as well. It just it's it's not worked for me to do the reviews. I sincerely apologize, but that's that's how it's been. It's just been. Well, code signing certificates, et cetera, had to <laughs> get my highest priority. Yeah. Actually, and I'll say it this way, reviewing more this weekend, because I've reviewed at least three of them, but, yeah, but yeah. I haven't certainly haven't reviewed yeah. 30 of them. Okay. Do you have any idea how many we're going to be able to do? Uh, so John Mark today said he thinks that um, we'll likely be able to do four projects. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the what we've done this year, Meg, is we've set a, a different standard, and I like the standard very much. Uh, we we specifically want a designated lead mentor uh -huh. for each project. Yeah, and that lead mentor has strong experience, has permissions to the repositories, etc., and then uh, want three plus mentors in total for each project. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. That way we've got, and Chris, my sense is we've got the depth to do both those things for, for up to four projects. Yeah, I think so currently, yeah. Yeah, we've had really, really strong, strong participation from several of these candidates to be, be the additional mentors rather than, and lead mentor we've got, me, Chris, Adrian, uh, who else? John, oh, Bruno Verachten, possibly. So, so it's it's looking it's looking quite promising. Okay, excellent. So, so um, go ahead, Chris. We we start reviewing on the fourth UCC. Right. 
Yeah. Is it? I think it is April. April four. April is 4th. is is it the end, and then we immediately get access, or do we actually get access on the fifth? Why should you get access now as I come in? Okay. All right. But we want to wait until like um, everything been settled. Okay. So current proposals are already visible to mentors. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. Should be at least on the uh, GSOC site. Uh, and then candidates can upload replacement versions of their proposal through April 4, right? Yep. Good. Okay. Okay, so that so this is the end. So yeah, right. So yeah, next next week they should the be door getting, closes. Correct. Yeah, they should be getting they should all have been reviewed by their mentors now and gotten some feedback, right? Well, no, it's okay. So it's this is we're in the draft phase now, right? So uh -huh. so they're 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 able to refine their change, refine and improve things based on our feedback. Uh, right. After April four, those things are frozen, and we start the right. the ranking, the the prioritization, the assembling of our proposed mentoring teams that will then be submitted to Google in what is it two weeks or three weeks after the start, Chris? I don't remember the exact timeline. Yeah, but it's about that time. Yeah. Yeah. Two, three, Any other points on that on that topic, Chris? Mm, I think it's like um, we haven't been hearing a lot from some of the mentors, so I'm not sure about how available they will be during the mentoring phase. Because like okay. for reviewing of the jobs, I see some are quite active, but not everyone is. Yeah, so the, uh, what you're saying, I think, is there indications that some of the mentors won't be available, are, um, are not not available, or may not be available. Not not really sure, but um, or think, they don't realize what they should be doing now too. There's yeah, no could be. Yeah, and I th I think John Mark's been pretty clear with them, but but there is certainly that risk, right? That. It's John, what is John Mark's role? Is he he's he's the, he's been acting as the the head of the organization admin mm -hmm. team. All right. So it's in good hands. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. Well, and and Google certainly doesn't require three mentors for each yeah. project, right? It's that's yeah. our our request so that we don't risk burning out a mentor. Yeah. And if somebody, you know, it's a long series, you can lose people along the way. Right. For one yep. reason or another. So you've got a little depth. Mm -hmm. All right. Any any other points there? So the review, the review um tracking is happening in the in the worksheet in the public worksheet right you have a link to it uh i'm pretty sure i do i've i've had it before okay cool and okay. then oh, go ahead let me put a link there too as a just in case oh good thank you okay um, find it because i found um okay sure Copy link on this one. Okay, let me see if I'm in the right spot. Okay, good. Um, Draft proposal tracking. I'm going to open that in a new window and move the window out just in case this is the one that's private. Oh, no, don't worry. It's a private one. Oh, good. Okay, very good. Oh, yep, that is. All right, so here we go. Okay, so... Yep. All right. Very good. Okay.
Got it. Okay, cool. Any anything else on Google Summer of Code, Chris? Um, let me think. Sorry, I can I can talk about a lot of other things, but for now, I was like, um, I think I can tell like some of the uh, proposals are quite um promising, but um, it depends on like the final submissions too, because I think this year in particular, so many many uh, many are deciding to uh, submit the proposals late to Google. So we haven't um we haven't done like um we haven't seen like most proposals like they like, uh, submitted through draft or version on the portal yet. Ah, okay. So the Google Docs are still there are still many more Google Docs drafts than there are. Uh, PDF files yeah. in exactly. the Google portal. Yeah. Okay. But okay. we do have the the email addresses, right? Of the of the can, so we can always we can certainly send a reminder uh, to them to post their their draft their uh, PDF files to the Google portal. I think so, yeah. It would be a, a sad thing for them to have done the work of creating it and then miss the, the submission deadline. Yeah, true. Anything else? Mm, don't think so. Okay. So I'd propose we skip the roadmap updates topic just because I'm not really ready for a, a working session. The idea there was that We've got this page on Jenkins.io okay. that needs to be updated. So we go about roadmap and a number of the topics, for instance, let's pick improve pipeline step doc generator. This was last year's Google Summer of Code project. So it's in the wrong location on the roadmap. Yeah. It shows that as future, it is in fact released. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, those kinds of things. So then user interface rework is clearly in progress right now. Um, and user guide improvements have been in progress for a while. So those kinds of things need to be updated. Remoting over WebSockets is done. It's production use, lots of places. So we've got a number of things like that that need to move around on this so that they accurately show where we're at. Yeah. Okay. All right. Then this one I think is worth us having a conversation about to hear particularly, Chris, if you've had any further feedback to offer, Meg, to be sure you're aware of it and have any things to suggest. So what happened is the the 2.397 Jenkins oh. weekly. Okay. Um uses a new PGP signing key for the dev and the RPM files. Okay. That's because the old one has expired and that's intentional, right? We don't want the those keys to last forever. And yeah. so we've we've rotated them. Uh, however, it means that the LTS release 2.387.1 gives a it, it, install is blocked. Oh. Unless you change the uh, install install configuration, okay. And okay. the next thing is LTS release two point three eighty seven point two yeah. on five April twenty twenty three will resolve the issue. Okay. So what we got was we got and and certainly there's it's a fair question. Hey, you mean the LTS is going to be blocked, is not going to be installable per default instructions for a week? And the answer is yes, that's correct. Okay. Now we could, we could apply a change to the install instructions temporarily, at least to the Debian instructions. Yeah. 
but I'm not sure that it's worth it, given that that really the change we would be making is a non-recommended change by by the people who maintain Debian packages. It would I think it would be as likely to get us complaints as anything. Yeah. So what we would do is change this text here okay. instead of this signed by message, this signed by string, it would say something as noted here where it says allow unsigned equals true or some such thing. Just a minute, uh -huh. let's find it. Oh, and the okay. problem with allow unsigned equals true or allow insecure equals yes. Okay. And, and that does work. I've confirmed it. It actually works. But the problem is what it does is you still get this big warning message. Signatures are invalid. It just turns them into warnings instead of a hard error. Okay. And, and so my thought was, I'm not sure it's worth changing the install documentation for a week on the assumption that this is going to affect anyone who attempts to upgrade to 387.1 and a new install. And the only ones who would actually detect this are those who read the new install instructions. The, we don't have anything like this in the upgrade instructions. Yeah. Now 387.2 will have it in its upgrade guide. It will tell people to to use this use the new key and it will it just works. Okay. But if they do that, they do end up with an insecure system, right? They well they they end up with one package installed oh. that was not installed with a strong signature, right? With a with a, a from a signed package. So yes, now it's only one, it's only packages from this repository that are made, that are allowed to be done without the signature check. And so that means it's in this case, only exactly one Jenkins, but mm -hmm. it is one. And with Jenkins, you could do some damage. And what I'm thinking is if I were a certain kind of person, I'd be scooting around the internet looking for this release of Jenkins and systems that might give, I mean, it's, it's like, you know, it's something that it's kind of an, it's going to be a known thing. Mm. And I'm also thinking that this is a workaround that should only be implemented by people who know what they're doing. Right. And they're right. not going to reread the installation instructions anyhow. Exactly. And, and this kind of thing, if you do it, should, should be removed as soon as possible. Right. So at most, this is a six day workaround. Right. Um, is there a notice someplace to people about the problem, some public? There is. So there's a okay. blog post here. Oh, okay. That's so perfect. here's this blog post. There's an entry in the change log here that puts a big banner up that says, hey, a new key has been issued. There will be a change log entry in the LTS change log, and there will be an LTS upgrade guide for it. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, and we and we tweeted about it, and we've done a yeah. Jenkins developer mailing list post about it, and a LinkedIn post about it. So yes, yeah. we've yes, I think we've you're well covered, and and the Hoi Polloi shouldn't be installing a new release the first week it comes out anyhow. Well, yeah. and uh, see, so yeah, at this point, two two dot three eighty seven dot one has been out for three or four weeks already. Oh, okay. So. So those of us who are adopted on the leading edge have already done it. Oh, okay, yeah. So, yeah, I think it's under control. That sounds all good to me. Okay. Yeah. And Chris, have you seen any any noise or confusion that justifies anything bigger than that? Anything where you'd recommend something different? No, I wouldn't do that differently. Okay. Oh, oh, I take it back. There is something we do need to do. That's, now you've now I've thought of this. Um, and this is a perfect thing with you here, Chris. You're the release lead for 387.2, correct? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. am. So we need to merge the uh, approve and merge and merge the uh, change log and upgrade guide. Yep. Are you okay if in these last few minutes we take the time to do that review and do the merge? Yeah, sure.
because I'd reviewed it with Kevin Kevin um, Martins, but I would really like to get it merged. We like to have it merged well before the release date, so okay. that that keeps the release leads things about which they must worry less. Yeah, true. Okay, so here we have it. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, there's a reason we want to check it because it failed to build. Now let's see why. Is it because like some uh, some issues before the weekend? Ah, here's what it is. Okay, this this is infrastructure. So let's do an update the branch. This will cause it to build again. While it's building again, let's review it. Okay. Okay, so I had reviewed it once previously. Here is the banner for the signing, the change of the signing key and a link to the blog post. Let's double check that this link is the correct link by going here and testing it. It is, good, okay. Then here was a bug fix that was backported. Okay. Here's a backport of a another bug fix. Yeah. This is a backport of the security fixes. Okay. That were applied to bundle some bundled plugins and the message on but okay, good. And yeah. then here is the here is the change log entry beginning with Jenkins LTS 2.387.2. Stable repositories will be signed with the same GPG key that sign keys that sign the weekly repositories. Administrators Linux systems must install the new signing keys on their Linux servers before installing Jenkins 2.387.2. Debian Ubuntu. Uh-oh. Okay, this is outdated. Good thing we reviewed it. Bringing up the editor now to fix this. This has got a mistake in it that uh, Basel Crow detected. Okay. And so let's go fix it. Oh, wrong one. Jenkins.io. Get pull. Okay, so we need. This one, 6173. And now I need to find the reference content for that blog post. And it is there we go. Okay. So we need this blog post right here. And we need content underscore data change logs l uh oh no this was the this is the upgrade guide right yep 387 dash two okay good all right so the mistake i had made was i copied a three-year-old blog post and used its instructions we have since updated the installation instructions and mm -hmm. these on the right hand window are the new are the modern installation instructions okay so we want to use the better ones and now we need to change this one string here to debian stable okay that one's done so curl t to the key ring and then the deb line which will then use that key ring and the debian stable repository good all right now this one oh and the red hat the red hat one is only ha needs a minor change okay and again it's red hat dash stable all right. Okay. 
Any objections to that change from either of you? Yeah. Nope. Same key install in stable as weekly. Minor change to the repository name is the only difference. All right. So we should see that change. And here it is, Debian Ubuntu. OK. Make run. Whoops. And now bringing up our favorite web browser. Okay, here we go. Come on, come on, you can do it. All right, so we want to look at slash change log dash stable. Here it is 2.387.2. Adjust the WebSocket timeout, that bug report. And it opens the correct bug. Yep, this one opens the correct bug. This one opens the correct security advisory. And the other, whoops, let's see, was that 124? It was good. And this one opens the next one. Good. OK. So then we look at the LTS upgrade guide, the one where I had to make a change. 387.2, here's the new text, and here's the new text. Okay. I think we're ready. Any yeah. objections from the two of you for me to mark it uh, ready to merge? No. Nope. Okay, let's do a refresh. Oh, maybe I haven't pushed yet. Uh, it would help if I pushed. Oh, yes. Okay, now refresh. Here's the new text. We're going to review the changes. Approved. Ready to ready to go. Okay. And I'm going to enable auto merge. Okay. All right, thanks. So done. Done and done. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, I've, I've hit pretty much the time where I need to pause. If you're interested, I can give you a, a two minute summary of this last one and then we would end. Okay, go for it. I haven't heard about this. Okay, and, and this one probably matters to Chris as well. So there are, in addition to the PGP signature expiring, that when we renewed ourselves, the code signing certificate that we use to sign the Windows MSI installer okay. is also, it has now expired. And we started the renewal process about a month or a month and a half ago. It turns out that uh, lawyers had to be involved Hi. and um, the process is not yet complete. Okay. So we're not, I'm not a hundred percent sure of the impact on the 2.387.2 release. So, so let me talk to what that means because um, 
also signs the jar file. Oh, okay. Right. So the jar file won't be signed. And that's relatively low impact. Most people don't expect to get signed jar files and hardly anyone that I know of checks that whether they're signed or not. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Low impact, low risk, right? Um, the MSI installer won't be signed and that's high impact Yeah. because Windows users won't install an unsigned jar. Exactly. Or an, excuse me, an unsigned MSI. Yeah. And and they probably shouldn't. Windows is a risky enough platform that you don't yeah. want to to run a uh, an un, an un, unauthenticated installer. So one of the proposals and I'll be sending this uh, I'll send it actually to you Chris to to Tim Jacom to okay. the Jenkins board and to Vadek Folonier, the security officer, and to Damien Duportal, the infrastructure officer, um, proposing to drop, to not generate an MSI with 2.387.2. Oh, okay. Because I think it's worse to deliver an unsigned one than to not deliver one. Um, yeah. Users that want to upgrade Windows to 2.387.2, install an earlier version, 2.387.1, and then upgrade the WAR file. Okay. So I don't think the impact is huge so long as we intentionally do not deliver that thing until we have, and, and what that would mean is we would test drive that, that non-delivery of of MSI with the 2.398 weekly next Tuesday. Okay. Right. So we confirm that it works the way we expect, that we were able to successfully disable the MSI and it didn't break everything. And then we use what we learned from that to be sure it's successful on Wednesday when we deliver LTS. Yeah. Yeah. Any any input you want to give there, Chris? What do you think? Uh, I think I think that's a good way to do the issue at the moment. I guess like you never know how long it takes. Okay, good. All right. So I will now in terms of the how to document it. So weekly change log will get an entry, right? Get a banner that the MSI installer is not available. Yeah. Uh, we probably need a blog post explaining why, why the MSI installer has not been, is not updated. It, as far as I can tell, when an MSI installer's signature expires, there is nothing shown to the Windows user to hint that because okay. we've got old, old, old MSI installers. I brought one up like 1.612 or something, and it <laughs> opened on my Windows computer just fine, even though its certificate is long ago expired. Ah. So it's tied, it must be tied to the software, not to the calendar? Well, it's it's more that they they understood that the act of signing a a uh, an installer is a validating act and it doesn't become invalid because the certificate that signed it has reached its end uh -huh. of life okay. you know, it's, it's still it was validly signed when it was signed yeah. yeah yeah now i'm i think i'd propose that we not modify the the install documents themselves, just because I hope this won't be a long-term thing. Yeah. So is there any notification out there for people or if they get burned, they'll find it out? Well, they they will be notified. So let's say they what they would do is they they pick, oh, we actually, there's one thing we will need to check, need to check 
that the download site does not, is not broken by the non-delivery of 2.387.2, the Windows download site, or Windows download page, I should say. 2.387.2 MSI, right? And okay. we'll have to explore to be sure, are there other things we should put on the checklist? Okay. Reasonable so far? Yep. Okay, great. And I probably won't send that message until tomorrow, Chris. I'm I'm just tired today. No rest, no rest, tired time. So 12, 14 hours from now, you should plan to see a message. Okay, cool, yeah. All right. Any other topics for today's session? No, sleep tight. All right. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. Nice seeing everybody. Have a good week. Bye. Bye. Bye.